Now, finally, we've covered enough of the basic concepts to describe the first entanglement based protocol. And this is the Eckert 9091 or E91 protocol. Alice and Bob do something very similar as in the CHSA experiment that we just described, except that Alice chooses, uh, randomly chooses from three different measurement bases instead of two. That leads to six possible combinations of measurement bases at Alice and Bob. In one of those six combinations, the one in shown in yellow at the top of this table, Alice and Bob happen to choose the same measurement basis. And because we're using the sine minus base uh, states, Alice and Bob measurements will always be opposite. So if Bob flips his bit, then Alice and Bob can agree on a key bit. And four of the basis choice combinations, the ones shown in, in, in red at the bottom of this table, are exactly the CHSA experiment that we described before. This allows Alice and Bob to compute the S value and to determine whether the photons they received are entangled or not. If the S value is equal to two times the square root of two, it shows that the photons are maximally entangled. And because of the, the, the monogamy of entanglement, this means that Eve cannot participate in the entanglement and hence the key is safe. If the S value is greater than two, but less than two times the square root of two, it shows that the photons are entangled, but not maximally entangled. The amount of information that was leaked to Eve in this case can be detect, de determined using parameter estimation. And depending on how much information was leaked, Alice and Bob can either erase the leaked information using privacy amplification or conclude that the key cannot be used. This slide uh, covers the implementation of E91. I'll skip it for the sake of time and uh, let you look at it in your, at your leisure.